Here we present the top 5 best Nikon lenses. Starting of our listed number 5. Nikon AF-S FX NIK KOR 24mm. On several other sites that release their best lenses lists, it's the Nikon 24mm f1.4 G that often appears under the title of the best wide-angle lens for Nikon. However, I think it's this f1.8 version that should hold that title, here's why. It's a sad truth for those who are brand loyal, but the Sigma 24mm f1.4 art is widely considered as better than the Nikon 24mm f1.4 G, not to mention being much cheaper. Another reason is that, unless you absolutely need an f1.4 for low light photography, the Nikon 24mm f1.8 G is good enough. Don't be concerned about the depth of field differences of f1.4 versus f1.8 with wide angle lenses you have to be up really close to the subject to take advantage of any slight variance in subject separation between f1.4 and f1.8. Now we've got that out the way, here's why I think the Nikon 24mm f1.8 G is a great wide angle lens for Nikon FX cameras. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming in at number 4 of our list, Tamron 10-24mm. Every kit needs a wide angle lens, especially if you love shooting landscapes or architecture. When I'm traveling, my wide angle is often the lens I use the most. Back in the day when I was shooting on a Nikon D40, I found that I preferred the first generation Tamron 10-24mm to its Sigma equivalent. Now, in its third generation, the Tamron 10-24mm f3.5-4.5 really outperforms everything else in its price range. The biggest change? It's the first DX wide-angle lens to bring image stabilization to Nikon users. You gain a whopping 4 stops when shooting handheld. That's really handy if you're on the go or find yourself in a situation where you can't use a tripod. Halfway of our listed number 3. Nikon AF PDX NIK KOR. If the Tamron 10-24mm is too expensive for you, or you're looking for a lighter weight angle for your DX camera, the Nikon 10-20mm f4.5-5.6 is an amazing deal. It didn't really get much attention when it first came out in 2017, but it's a sweet little lens. It's one of only three Nikon DX lenses with a new AFP technology, costs next to nothing, and pumps out decent images. The AFP focus is fast, accurate and silent. The impressive continuous autofocus performance is more like that of a mirrorless camera, but where you'll really see the difference is when using live view. It's much quicker than AFS lenses. The design of the Nikon 10-20mm f4.5-5.6 is super light and compact. In fact, it's so light it hardly feels like you've got a lens on your camera at all. That's a big difference to the aforementioned Tamron 10-24mm, which is a bit of a beast. I also prefer the ergonomics of this little Nikon more than the Tamron. Ergonomics of number 2 of this list. Nikon AF-S NIK KOR 35mm. This is another lens that I absolutely love, and is in fact the most recent Nikon lens that I've bought. I wanted something that I could pair with my Nikon D750 for traveling, but the more I used it, the more it became the most used lens I own. I've shot many professional photo sessions with the Nikon 35mm f1.8 GED, and can't recommend it highly enough to the Nikon FX DSLR owner who'll listen. The 35mm focal length is a favorite for all kinds of photographer due to its versatility, wide enough to tell a story, but equally adept for a portrait. I love using the Nikon 35mm f1.8 GED on my FX Nikon DSLRs, and often grab it over the heavier and slower to focus Nikon 35mm f1.4 G, I love that lens too, but it's not fun to use due to its size plus it costs almost 4x as much. On a DX Nikon DSLR, 35mm is roughly 52mm, a versatile focal length, and a favorite of many street photographers. Invest in the Nikon 35mm f1.8 GED for your cropped sensor Nikon DSLR and you'll hit the ground running if you ever decide to upgrade to full frame. And coming in at number 1 of our list, Nikon AF-FX NIK KOR 50mm. 
This humble Nifty 50 is at the top of my list for good reason. The Nikon 50mm f1.8D is the first Nikon lens for an FX camera I ever bought, and as such has a special place in my heart. Not only is it as cheap as chips, it's also super lightweight and compact too. Check out all the raving reviews on Amazon for this lens. Those who've recently upgraded to a Nikon DSLR from a smaller compact camera are sometimes a bit anxious about the weight of their new camera. As such, the Feather Lite Nikon 50mm f1.8D is the perfect complement. The image quality out of this impressive Nikon lens is nothing short of incredible, especially when you consider its price. It's the sharpest lens I own, and its focus speed is also the fastest. Due in part to its small size weight, the Nikon 50mm f1.8D focuses almost instantly. For that reason, I use it on the dance floor at weddings when I need to capture fast-moving subjects in less than desirable light. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, share this video and hit the like button.